if you think you can find what you're looking for, I would suggest that you stop wasting your time here. You can have anything you want in this world. Just close your eyes. Closet Monster is about a boy named Oscar Madley from St. John's who, as a child, witnesses the aftermath of a very brutal hate crime, and that kind of uh, has a really, really strong effect on him that really affects his coming of age. For the majority of the film, we experience Oscar's teenage life, where he is a special effects makeup artist who focuses on um, creating monsters and uh, sculptures that represent sort of his own internal feelings about himself and his world. He's, he's sort of like allowing his, his internal struggles to manifest into the physical space around him because it's ultimately um, very a very psychological experience. Oscar is a very interesting character because when he's young, he's very flamboyant, but in a very like controlled, creative, exciting, um, colorful way. And it, before he sees this terrible hate crime. He kind of goes through life unaware of the darker parts of the world. And then he has a relationship with his two parents, which are very different. His mom has moved on. She's getting married to someone new. She has this, almost like this perfect new family. She's not afraid to really kind of lay it on the line with him, that life isn't fair and it's not gonna be nice for him sometimes and it's up to him to react in a way that allows him to move forward. Oscar's dad, Peter, is the complete opposite. His life's kind of fallen to shambles. He's, he's very childish. He lives in practically a gutter. Like, he, it's, his house is a complete mess. He loves his son and uh, is trying to do the best he can. He just runs out of tools, he becomes too afraid. Let me save you some time. He's possessive, has a temper of a child, and is batshit crazy. This film is uh, partially inspired by a series of really uh, atrocious hate crimes that happened in Newfoundland over a decade ago. As a kid, you don't fully understand even what that means, but I knew inherently that um, I was different and that I was in danger. I think every teenager has a different experience. I think every person has um, a way that they are shaped. A profound thing happens in their life that affects them, that reverberates for the rest of their life. And I think this film perfectly encapsulates a moment like that. I just think it's a really important film, an important story to tell. And the real message that we're telling is that no matter how dark things get, never give up. You know, I hope. That's what people take from this when they when they watch the film.